Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Our brothers and sisters who will watch our YouTube channel, a lot of duas for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you khair in dunya and akhira. Ameen. Uh, we humbly request you to please like, share, and subscribe our channel and also. Uh, click on the bell icon for future notifications. Audhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wa amma sa'ila fala tanhar Sadaqallah wa maulana wa nazeem Allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala ali sayyidina muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Wa amma sa'ila fala tanhar And do not rebuke the beggar A sail A person who comes And asks for money or, subhanallah, a person who asks a question, uh, the, it is written in the tafsir of Quran that we should be kind in both situations. So, we are Muslims, alhamdulillah, we are peace living Muslims. We believe in the peaceful teachings of our beautiful religion of Islam and our Iman begins with Amantu Billah I believe in Allah Allah is one Allah alone is worthy of worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no partner nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is most powerful Allah created subhanallah the earth the skies the Sun the moon the angels human beings and the whole universe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives life and death Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives sustenance risk Allah does not drink or sleep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forever and will be forever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not created by anyone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have parents, wife or kids. No one resembles Allah and Allah resembles none. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have eyes, nose or body like that of human being. We should therefore make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all our needs. So my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls the affairs of this universe. Years ago, this ajiz, this humble servant of Allah, learned this very fundamental reality of life. And then my life became much easier for me to live. And I'm going to share that secret with you, brothers and sisters. And what I learned, that fate, good and bad, is given by Allah. Whenever we experience khair, we attribute it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when there is a shar, even though it is coming from Allah, shar means evil, but we attribute it to ourselves, to our nafs, nafs ammara, and also to shaitan. And we do tawbah and istighfar. That's why tawbah and istighfar is important. So if we understand this, this journey of life will become much easier for us. 
as we study Holy Quran, my very noble brothers and sisters, we are reminded again and again. We come across this very powerful verses of Quran, such as Innama Bhagyukum ala anfusi. Your rebellion will be returned upon you. You will reap as you sow. You know, when I will leave this world, right now I'm reaping what I sowed years ago. And we all face the results, ramification, consequences for our actions, first in this dunya and also in akhirah. So if things are not right in my life or your life, we have no one to blame but ourselves. So when we will go to the next life, inshallah, if we are in a better place, we'll feel very good, alhamdulillah. And God forbid, if we are not, then that will be the result of our actions. So the story that I want to share with you, and then I'll be out of your way, is a story, it happened in pre-partition India. It's written by Hakim al Malala Shafri Thani Rahmatullah in his Malfuz, Malfuzat Sharif. So what it is, a man was eating meals, a very rich man with his wife, and someone knocked on the door. And mostly women are very kind. They're a kind creation. They have soft hearts. So uh, his wife went to attend that beggar and it took her a little while. And her husband became angry and yelled at that beggar. See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَا Our beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is the last and final messenger, there is no Nabi, there is no Rasul after him. He's Khatim al Nabiyin. And also, all his companions, noble companions, their graves are the gardens of paradise. Sahaba Ikram, Ridwan Allah, So, Prophet, if someone came to him begging, he never turned him down. If he didn't have money, he would borrow it from someone and give it to him. I learned it when I was a little kid going to school from the books of Islamiyat. So even this is the teachings of our beautiful religion. If someone comes on a horse, and ask you, give him whatever you can, never turn him down. So going back to the story, this man repelled that beggar. He yelled at him, he rebuked him, he cursed him, he broke his heart, he turned him down in a very brutal, fashion. So, who controls the affairs of this universe? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the, our religion can be described in three points. In religion of Islam, 
we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we make the ibad of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we make the itaat, ta'a of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa We obey him, we obey his teachings. And number three is, as a Muslim, we should benefit our fellow human beings, whether Muslim or non-Muslim. So after that, beggar left for this rich man, things begin to go bad. And he became so, he lost everything. And he became so poor that one day he divorced his wife. His story was over. His wife completed her iddat, her idda, and then she received a marriage proposal from a very rich man. She got married, and again started living the good days of her life like before but with a new husband. And one day, someone knocked on the door. SubhanAllah. As Quran says. So this is how the days of life are turned around. The essence of the ayah is. Number four, someone knocked on the door. This kind woman again attended that beggar and took her little while. And she helped him out. And she came back to her husband and her husband became inquisitive, asked her, That why it took so long. She explained to him she was taken aback. In the deep sense of extreme astonishment, she said, I can't believe, I couldn't believe this man was my previous husband. Her new husband said, let me complete the story. Let me complete the rest of the story. I am the same beggar whom your husband had repelled. So my brothers and sisters, we should always help needy people. Do whatever we can. We should see, I often think Allah has rewarded me more than I asked Allah for and I cannot give him enough thanks. So since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all of us so much, we should share and get the prayers of those or less fortunate. And we must inculcate this very beautiful values. We must promote human rights and we must inculcate these values in our kids. Until next time, please take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa